Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA video, we're going to be talking about a huge improvement to the Trilogy Definitive Edition that I would say 99% of players and most people didn't even recognize that Rockstar was going to be doing. And they haven't even really talked about it on Rockstar's Newswire and on their brand new website that they created for the GTA Trilogy. They talked about a lot of the improvements, control upgrades, enhancements that they were going to be doing. But they didn't talk about this, and I think this is going to be a massive upgrade to these definitive remastered versions of Vice City, San Andreas, and GTA 3. And that is the interiors. Rockstar is using a very specific type of interiors. Now, just to go back to the original versions of GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, essentially all the insides of buildings were these fake 2D interiors. They did not look real at all. They were just supposed to be there so that your mind would say, okay, there's an interior. And even if it looked terrible on the outside, you could at least tell that there was something there. Like it wasn't just a blurry window. I mean, sometimes they were just blurry windows, but in those older games, the interiors did not look good. So essentially, these parallax interiors will give you a better looking 3D interior without taking up a lot of memory, processing power, etc. Now, I believe the individual who discovered this, Videotech on Twitter, he had a couple of things to say regarding that. He said, this could just be me being me and nerdy, but I'm not sure for certain. So this is just speculation and it's not confirmed until I actually have the game. I sort of have reasons to believe Rockstar are using parallax interiors. Fake interiors, but more effective than 2D textures. And then he actually followed up and confirmed, he said, I can finally confirm Rockstar are using parallax interiors across all three remasters. This will seriously make the maps more detailed with these about really good choice. So that is awesome right there. And in case you guys don't know, parallax interiors are used in a lot of open world games. I think the best example of this is in the new PlayStation Spider-Man. It basically replaces 2D flat textures on buildings to give them the 3D effect. And obviously in Spider-Man, you would want this because you're gonna be literally on the edge of buildings and you're gonna be peering inside. So you want your interiors to look really nice and crisp. So now that we know that, we can pretty much take a look at every single screenshot that Rockstar showed off from the GTA Trilogy, the Definitive Edition, and we can see those interiors at work. So let's actually take a look at some of those examples right now. These are things you might not have caught on to at a first glance. So in this screenshot right here, Claude, look right below the flames. You guys can see in the first and second story of that building right there that there's an actual interior there. And it looks like it's 3D instead of just this 2D sort of blank window. That is a huge improvement on the original versions of the trilogy. So that's our first example right there. Uh, the next example is in this screenshot right here of Ocean Drive. You can see if we look underneath the moonlight sign, you can see that there is a full-fledged 3D interior in there also. Again, a huge improvement from what Rockstar has done in the past with the original versions. And it's sort of an easy way to sort of just make 3D uh, interiors happen. So another great example right there, also from GTA Vice City, this version of Tommy walking out of the Ocean View Hotel. Look to his left and his right. You'll see that there is a interior there. And what this does to me is it just makes the world feel more believable. Uh, that's the big part of Grand Theft Auto is not only do you have this world, but you also have layers to this world where you can enter, explore, do simple things like just going into an internet cafe or a car dealership. Uh, those were big back in the day and Rockstar have really improved upon that. This next shot right here of CJ on Grove Street. If you guys look a little bit closer here, you can see that there definitely is an interior being rendered inside of CJ's house. And hopefully this means we might be able to go inside of these interiors without a loading screen. That was one of the big things with the original trilogy is it felt like there were so many loading screens that stopped the flow of action. Uh, so if you wanted to go inside the Ocean View Hotel or you wanted to go inside CJ's house, 
you'd be met with a loading screen. It sort of breaks the action. Now, back in the PlayStation 2 era, that was acceptable. Now, in 2021, going with the PlayStation 5 and both versions of the new Xbox and how modern PCs are, I don't know if loading screens will be tolerated as much as they were. So that'll certainly be interesting to see what the case is like there when the game obviously arrives. And there's a handful of other examples, too, that we can see in the actual trailer and from the other screenshots that Rockstar provided. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little snippet right there. And this can be seen on the Newswire screenshots as well. I mean, just look at the train that Claude is in right now. Now, the buildings in the far, far background, those interiors probably have not loaded in yet. Uh, remember, we are still dealing with games that were originally made in the early 2000s. So you are going to have to experience these newer interiors closer up. I think this shot right here of Ocean Drive, this is about as far away as you would expect to see those detailed interiors. I mean, literally look at every single building right here. Uh, all the stories on the windows, you can see they have these crisp 3D interiors. That is huge because it's going to make the world feel more 3D and give it more depth. And even this shot right here, looking at the closer up buildings in San Andreas, uh, you guys can see here that there look to be interiors here, which is just awesome. I know this doesn't seem like a big deal, but it really is. Because it's one of the things we take for granted in modern games, especially modern Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto games. I mean, just think about Red Dead Redemption 2. You go into the town of Valentine. You can literally walk into pretty much every single person's house, every single building on the main strip. How would the game feel if you couldn't do that? It would feel bare bones almost. You'd feel like, well, this is a town, but I can't do anything in this town. That's how it kind of felt in the original trilogy. And Rockstar is looking to improve upon that. And I think they have done so successfully with these brand new interiors that we're going to be getting in the trilogy. And there's a lot of other details as well besides the interiors, obviously. Uh, I'm sure Rockstar and Grove Street Games, who have also worked on this project as well. I don't know like the entire involvement of Grove Street Games. Like, Are they just working on the mobile version? Are they more involved in the development I'm sure it is definitely a collaborative effort. But what's also cool about this is this is the first time that Rockstar is actually using Parallax interiors in a remaster. Obviously, they don't have to do this with modern titles because they can produce their own interiors. But this is cool. They didn't use this. But this is cool that we're seeing this for the first time in GT. But this is cool that we're seeing them for the first time in the Trilogy Definitive Edition. And it's really cool that Rockstar have decided to put so much work into these maps. And it's just, again, nice. I know I've been repeating this a lot, but it just gives the impression as if it's a real interior instead of like a crappy 2D texture overlaid on a building. So I think this is going to be a huge improvement that I don't think a lot of people ended up noticing. I think they focus on what's going on in the foreground, obviously, like the changes to Tommy and the changes to CJ and Claude and the guns and the cars. But pay attention to those interiors because that's going to be a huge improvement on the game that you just simply might not have noticed. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think of the new interiors that are going to be featured, used, and added in the GTA Trilogy, the Definitive Edition. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below, so let me know what you're thinking down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Trilogy Definitive Edition videos that I'll be doing here on my channel once those games arrive. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But, of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.